Welcome back, baby faces. Ooh. I'm Victor Villain. Yeah. This is Heels Pops and Chair Shot. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go round table. See who's on their way to the ring. Mischief out here. Let's get it. Follow the buzzer. That was quick. Yo, <laughs> I want to get yo, a quick I'm, entrance. I'm, I'm, let's quick get entrance. to it, baby. Hello right. and welcome. <laughs> Elite Steve. J.P. Savage back in the building. Savage. Freddy Chubby Flaco, dímelo mi gente. Have a nice day. Hi. <laughs> Shit, you got to put it on sat <laughs> now. <laughs> that is for our Latino demographic. Yeah, bro. Esa. Freddy Chubby Flaco. Make sure to put the E in before it. Esa. Ese gordito está flaquito. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was aggressive. Wow. As you can see, Mama it is penis. time to entertain faces. <laughs> it's time to entertain. And that's what we're here to do today. Um. We're remembering those entertaining moments when the segments and promos used to be watchable. Remember that, guys? You shut what? your mouth. <laughs> uh, no, you're wrong. They, past tense. They're kind of hard to watch, kind of hard to bear, with, especially on three hours. You know, we could watch it, though. We could watch it on the network. <laughs> how much <laughs> is that right now? For how much? $9.99. $9. Oh, she plugged. She plugged. First three months um, free. It's not like that joke's old or anything. I know. Memorable segments, memorable <laughs> promos. We're going to get into a bunch of mic work, a bunch of funny segments, great pastimes, attitude errors, all the errors, basically. Memorable moments. Um, but like every week, you know, we got to talk that smack, talk that news to you. We got to update y'all what's going on. Before we get there, I have a gripe with you gentlemen. Oh, oh. This is JP Savage, the People Savage. Talk. Oh shit, he's here. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Shout I've been wait, 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 guys. Did you did you notice he was sitting here? I didn't Shout even know he was. Holy shit. Savage. Hey. I'm international, did baby. You, just, you don't even did know. You just, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> I'm the People Savage now. Listen. People. All right, people. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> you promise? <laughs> because that's what y'all said to me. It's two weeks. <laughs> Uh, Secondly, hey, how dare y'all bring up? Go on. How dare y'all get bring up Baron Corbin? <laughs> I was in Cozumel having a fantastic time, and I gotta hear this Baron bragging, Corbin listen, bullshit. Listen, make a us lot feel has like happened shit. since you've been I gone, JP. This man listen, has been doing something called beautiful. entertaining. Fuck you. Anywho, <laughs> but fuck you. I called the the Cardinals to see if they take him back. Uh, not today. Oh, man. Yo, you say that every time though. Yeah, for real. Wait but this time, after you guys mentioned them. I even called the defensive line coach because <laughs> he didn't hack it as a tackle. So we got to switch it up. I mean, neither did Lesnar. You know who's going to switch it up, man? Or Roman. It's Rey Mysterio. That's the man we're going to be talking about right now because he's going to be switching it up. And they they talking about him wrestling it all in. He got a six-man tag going now, guys? Mm. Six-man tag. Ray Chubbs, tell me about that. What's up? We got, uh, I think they announced Ray Phoenix, El Bandido, Ray Mysterio versus... um. The Bucks. Kota Ibushi and the Bucks. Nice. Yeah, I don't mean to be that like golden guy, elite. But I don't mean to be that guy, but you're doing it. I don't think his last six man tag went that well. Savage. Ray? Oh, Ray. Oh, oh. is that the one where he killed the guy? <laughs> 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 Wait, isn't that on the board? Yeah, it's probably That's on, on the board. But yeah, man. Uh I think he uh hit him with a deadly six one nine. So you just made the list. Right. I'm hearing <laughs> bored guys. Bored. Bored. I'm hearing that uh Ray Mysterio is having issues with his contract. He's supposed to finalize that WWE contract. Yeah, oh, yeah. Contract. Well, he's supposed to and do I think that contract is... is gonna have him not do the six one nine. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that's what he's supposed Christ. to be doing. In, well, all in, man. I mean, I was hearing the same things uh as you were mischief, and I mean it's gonna get done. Yeah, it's it coming fun. down to him not really wanting to work as many dates as they want him to. Yeah, he deserves and he'll it. be fine, and he deserves it. Yeah, he deserves, he deserves it. it. They, they give him a big push. Concept. They I mean, give him a big push. With look at the, the shape he came in. Yeah, at Yo, the rumble. Real. Let Rumble. him have that time off. Yeah, if yeah. he's gonna look like that, yeah. let him both, have the time both, off. Both yeah. rumbles, right? Well, my man Sting mm. right, said he could still have a good match with the Undertaker. Yeah, no. yeah, nah, man, listen. <laughs> Nah, a, that's all you, Sting, bro. Yo, Sting, <laughs> yo, you my boy, you. yo. I love you. You've been like an inspiration to my wrestling, you know, viewership. Please don't wrestle. Oh, did you hear that? 
<laughs> like, yo, just please don't wrestle. And that goes for I've the seen other the wrestler. Too, I, don't want, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, <here. laughs> man. Like, I'd rather see the promo lead up to, to the match instead of the match. I wish there was a way <laughs> to do that. Maybe he can, like, stand behind the character and kind of be the, the mouthpiece for and a then character. And they get, like, substitutes to wrestle in place for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's fake Sting for real, for real. Or just like, the fake Sting and the but... fake Taker from back in 93, 94. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably not looking too good either. Nah. <laughs> but two Might things. be worse off, honestly. <laughs> two things. You know what this sets up. One, this tells me Sting is broke. <laughs> <laughs> and two, this tells me it's going to happen. Shout out to the wrestler. <laughs> and two, it tells me it's going to happen. You know why? Because they can do the same thing they did last year and put Undertaker and Sting in a street fight. Why? Why? That's what they did with him and John Cena. And they could do the same thing you for put, them. Build put, up the promos the entire time and let them fucking punch each other for a little bit. Nah. And that's it. That's nah, what they're going to do. They it makes move, money. Yo. It makes money. I, I don't know what was Vince thinking with I've seen a take a shit from last year, man. But- <laughs> <laughs> Wrestle Inc. has reported, or well, they retweeted because I, I was following Cody Rhodes and I saw him reach out to a fan. A fan said that like they were trying to get there. To uh, all in. To all in, but uh, they couldn't afford like the hotels or something, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sure Cody Rhodes is like, got you, fam. He's like, yo, well, what's that PayPal? Yeah, That's I think he up. really, I think he really, did and I get, think he really did. You. you think so? <laughs> I think he got all of you. I yeah, because you're working. I don't know, man. Every single one of y'all, and um, I mean, why not? Why not work, y'all? Nah, why come not on, yo, like for Cody Ray, the Rhodes, the money he just made, it's good promo. Listen, it's man, good faith. I don't, Listen, I, I don't man. think he wouldn't do it, but he I didn't. Just, I just don't think he did. I've heard, I don't know. I've heard my man. You gotta frugal. pull out all the stunts. Oh. I've yeah. heard my man's frugal. If you look at his but, Instagram posts and his his protein is probably some of the cheapest brand protein that there is out look, there. Don't get me wrong. It would get it would make sense for him to do it. I mean, and, look and the to way do it and get make the publicity I, I, off of it. That's something different. The so. way that I see it though is why why fake it? Like true, you're true. promoting this big event, you yeah. know. Dude, you got the money. Just do yeah, it. Yeah. This he man also, don't even need the money. He got it's true. He got brandy. Yeah. Oh, He's like, you know what? What Shout the hell to am I thinking? He, also, Brandy would make he also, also said so that he heard that there was tailgating shit going on and he was intimating that he was going to be a part of it. That'd be oh. dope. So that imagine being at That'd like be Chicago in the, in the, imagine, you know, we're going to be there like every single one of us. We had guaranteed uh-huh. it. No? Uh-huh. Didn't we just say we were to Chicago? To yeah, Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to be there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be there via satellite. I got a thing. Moving on, former 205 Live Cruiserweight champ. Rich Swan signed a long-term deal with Impact Wrestling. Oh, congrats to my man, Rich Swan, man. I mean, everybody deserves a second chance, I guess, right? And um, but can he handle it? That's the that's what we're gonna. That's the you real beat question. Me to it. <laughs> how do you how do you how do you bounce back from these? Not just more saying, it's more doing, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Well, I guess Impact can handle it. Yeah, hey. yeah. Hey. Um, in other news, Hiromo Takahashi oh, sidelined nine to twelve. My Nine to twelve God. months. Damn, that's a broken neck. You know what, man? Broken that, freaking. I'm neck. happy to wow. hear that he has a timetable. Because no, yeah, it could have been yeah. that career yeah. ending. And wow. you know, I, I didn't think about it that way, but that means isn't this career ending though? Yeah. No, you know, he's not for a year. Nine to twelve months. Yeah, kid. he's young though. How I mean, Psycho he? Sid did how many? He's got to be thirties, he... maybe. He's in his thirties, but we're talking about a gentleman. We're talking about the neck. This is this is I mean uh, so cool. retired so many wrestlers. But see the thing is, uh, I was reading in the reports earlier that there's no nerve damage. So that's oh, definitely okay. great news. Is he getting okay. the fusion um, that these guys got or I look, I'm not the fucking doctor. I don't Come know. on, Steve. Like this is what <laughs> we, we gotta pay get you for. The, you gotta breach all the HIPAA contracts. You gotta get my bad. Information. My bad. I'll just fly over to Japan well, right, right now. Right. Like my bad, guys. <laughs> Listen, look, just don't don't discount him, you know, tapping out. Well, someone who's not gonna tap out, according to Dave Melter, is uh Matt Riddle, who's coming out here for a three-year contract. Get, Get him some him. shoes. Get but don't him. say anything. <laughs> don't. Because they don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> oh, all right. I think, the exact, I think the exact quote was, nobody's allowed to say, but yes, yes. he is signing the deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> hope that, that contract comes and, uh, with a pair of shoes. You guys, you guys think we'll see him at NXT? He's going to be Brooklyn? next to me. I'm He'll be sitting in the crowd. I, if, he, if he makes too much damn Take noise, over. I'm going to spill his damn beer. Take over. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> bro. Moving on. And, all right. uh, <laughs> it is said that uh, WWE is sending out feelers. They are. For uh, and I'm excited Phoenix about and Pentagon Jr. Oh, yes. Yo, Pentagon yeah. can wrestle, dog. Yes, Pentagon. Yeah. But do I, we I, want him here? Uh, what do you want? Do you want his the writers to have their like? Way do we, do we want that? Do we want another Sin Cara? Yo, I think Kalisto situation. I think we need somebody. I don't for, think it'll um, happen to them, but do we want even that chance? I must gotta fight somebody, right? I almost Ooh. like Pentagon on Impact a lot more. 
he has a lot to do over there. So hey, impact. Oh, um, I also read they, today. Right, trust me, they do need it. <laughs> Jericho was talking about how uh he basically got them to hire one of his friends. Uh, damn, I forgot the dude's name. Do you know? Uh, and that and that's I what helped the know. turnaround there at 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 Impact. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that they were talking about um like how people are like Jericho was like well, people made, are snakes and they and made all. a lot of good moves in management. Yeah. They got a lot of guys, a couple of guys that were on commentary for New Japan for a little while. So, um, the way I look at it impacts on the way up again, and which is yes. great news because you know you need an alternative that's yes. on TV, Impact. that's readily available for you. The the, um, the great Jr. today on his podcast had uh, mentioned uh, enjoying the pay per view. You mean the lackluster Jr. Damn. Damn! I mean that's what happens when you lose a spouse. You just made the list. Uh, that's on the board. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. I will not let you disrespect. But anyways, let's get it. Let's get into Monday Night Raw. Uh, yeah. Do you want to? I kind of do. Yeah. Well, well, I kind of. Do. Be- before we do though, um, I just want to give a shout out to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast because apparently there were rumors going around that NJPW has reached out to Nakamura Ooh. that they want to welcome him back with uh, open arms. Oh, wow. Yeah. They want him back. I mean, he never left on bad terms, so I, I you know, they want him back. I don't know if he's coming back so soon though. I think I, he's I, happy. I, home, man. He, I still want to see Daniel Bryan look, and Nakamura. He moved his family mm-hmm. to the United right, right. States. Yep, he's comfortable. And it's only been what two, three years. Yeah, I, I yeah you yeah, don't like make a move years. like that. Yeah, obviously. like I'd give it another two, three years before he goes back. Well, moving well, on to Raw, guys. Um, well, before it was we before we moved on, they, they 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 opened up the show with a nice small little picture for uh, Brian Lawler and uh, yes. Nikolai Volkov. Uh, rest in peace, man. Uh, Brian Lawler had a uh, hang. He hung himself from uh, was in the in jail cell. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> that's dark. Uh, that surely wasn't too cool at all. You just made the list. Oh no, that was too soon. Yeah, no, Anywho, that's you also forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. on also the board. Mentioned, you forgot that's to mention board. Brickhouse Brown be, as well. Yeah. Brickhouse Brown. Brickhouse Wait, there Brown. are conflicting reports. They're saying that he might have died. He not How do you mess that this up? This is what I'm saying. I don't know, man. Nah, I, I think the guy died. He had prostate cancer. Oh man. Oh. I was about to say, like, how do you mess that up? Bad. You're dead or you're not? Which one is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, they say Tupac. Damn. It was definitely, definitely. All of, uh, all of heavy, that is on the board. Heavy, <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out. Week this week, it was very, uh, very sad week. Did you know that uh, Brickhouse Brown was actually a replacement for a junkyard dog? Really, it makes, that sense. makes sense. Jr. Yeah. was talking about on this podcast uh, that uh, once a junkyard dog went moved on, they replaced a 300 pound man with a 5'8", 200 pound man <laughs> <laughs> called the <him> Brickhouse. <laughs> yeah. Um, hard to get over. I would have rather seen that than. The opening segment that we saw this week again, where Roman comes out and calls out Brock. Jesus Christ. Again. And again. And this time he gets Heyman. Uh, it's like almost like deja vu, isn't it? it can't, can't. It's not even deja vu. We did, we did see this yeah, shit. Man. We saw this five times already. I, I just can't believe and it. Then, and, and it's literally the same script. Same script. How I mean, many times do you call him a Don't bitch, get me wrong. Bitch. I can hear, I can <laughs> watch Heyman recite the same script every week and still be entertained. But then after that, it's look when Heyman doesn't really care because he obviously doesn't really fucking no, care. No. Like his promos are the same thing over and over again. You saw that with Cesaro. Mm-hmm. You saw that with Curtis Axel when he was managing them. He knew there was no end game for those guys. He didn't care. I'm just tired of the reruns, man. The reruns, the reruns, the reruns. Finn Balor again. Rerun. Corbin. 50 50 booking is killing this company. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's Nobody comes out over. At least. And he got, he got, this is what, his second clean win over Finn now? Listen, at least, Corbin though, there's a conclusion to the Heyman Brock situation, right? Brock turns heel or turns on Heyman. He's not heel already. He turns on Heyman, right? And it's up, that's it. It's a big wrap. And Brock's going to bounce. Well, Kurt th- yeah. threatens um, Paul Heyman's contract here. Um, he says that if Brock doesn't come out for um, in front of the crowd tonight, uh, Heyman will be fired. So all night we'll see Heyman fired. Try to convince Braun. And 
uh, <laughs> Natty and Alicia Fox. Uh, Natty brought Rhonda to the ring, right? And then yep. Alicia brought uh, Alexa. I love Alicia Fox. Uh, shout out to Alicia Fox. Foxy. She looked good. Welcome back. Welcome back. Finally, they made her do something than just uh, not be I, there. I like her whacked out character. She yes. had a dope little apron spot. Whether yes. it, that was on purpose or right. accidental, Ooh, I, don't I don't know. Who knows at this point? I don't right? know. But it's pretty funny. If it was accidental, it's dope Alicia to watch. Fox uh, got it. That was that was great. Ronda already um, got a little a clean win, so. right? She got a clean win, pretty much. Yeah. So, hey, and and a backstage segment where she got over. And now they're gonna yeah. fight Ronda. She's gonna, she gonna fight around the next week. Yeah, so. you know what I don't understand. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> you know what I don't understand. How do you ruin AOP? I don't think they're ruined yet. I I think it's too way too soon to say they just got back on TV like what two weeks ago yeah. like. But it, I still think it's a little point, early since their debut. It's this, gone terribly. The thing is, like the tag division is the weakest division on Raw. If they were on SmackDown, I could see them making more noise. But SmackDown's wow. even loaded That's with talent. Yeah, on, that is you know, true. We're just I just remembered the bar was on SmackDown. So yeah, yeah they were yeah. out for a minute. But we'll get back to that and later. They're, they're saying um, that Sheamus may hang it up soon. Oh, way. but yeah, before we really get into AOP, right? Uh, Strowman and Jinder Mahal had a match. Oh or, yeah, or yeah. Something. Strowman and Mahal. Uh, Strowman squashes him, of course. But right. then, uh, Strowman actually, no. Mahal? I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Uh, Mahal wins by countout because yeah. uh, Owens comes Kevin out. Owens. Gets the briefcase. The briefcase. Kevin yeah. Owens they grabbed the, the briefcase. Fact that he can still lose I was always wondering out. why people never did that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just that, could be, that could be the <laughs> hardcore title right yeah. now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they could, that's yeah. a twenty four seven title. No you could do we, like a little online we've segment. Act, uh, we've actually brought that up before that they yeah. should they should have a championship for the network. Yeah. yeah. Yo, WWE Network championship. championship. It's a twenty four seven championship. I like that, and it's yo. it's defended on social media. It's defended. Yeah. All over um, the- like, <laughs> yo, bring back Talking Smack, like an ESPN Sports Center. Yes. It'll be like you know OJ I mean? and the Bronco all over again. Oh, okay. I mean, look, hot takes all over. Hot takes all over. You can you can have <laughs> that's the hottest one, but hot can, takes all over. <laughs> you can have somebody uh, cash in, or oh. you know, out of nowhere, try and pin somebody on ride along. Um, right along. The ref comes out from table the for three. You know, yeah. so it's gonna getting be table for two on, eventually. <laughs> the miss the miss getting, pinned. getting it over on Camp WWE, it'll be a little harder. But hey, yeah. that's just rebrand to. table for three as a like a ladder match. You know, <laughs> table ladder, match for three. Ladder for three. Ladder for three. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's get back. Uh, one more point. One more point on this <laughs> Apollo Cruz and um Akam from AOP because they had a match and um Apollo Cruz got a, a quick victory. But quick, if you give this kid some more TV time, man. Apollo Crews <clears throat> will get over. You know what? He won't get over. He needs though? a mouthpiece. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but his and rings. Even Titus has help. His Dude. rings move set, like, yo, yeah, far but, better but move set than Lashley. In WWE doesn't get you. You as know far what as I'd as love it. to see? Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. He's Bobby Lashley. Yo, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So that was like, exactly. times 100. Though. I was going to say. Times 100. Times 100? Really? Yo. I don't know. He's a, nah, he's a small like, he's, Bobby Lashley. Lashley. Yeah, so a little more. What if both of them go with Heyman and they have like this? Yo. That'd be dope. ECW nah. vibing ass. Bring Mark Holly. Henry back as a manager for those two. Ooh. The Hall of Pain. The Hall of Pain Volume what? 2. You know, that'll be the second thing I wish for after wishing that you get a, a job at, uh you know, WWE headquarters. We can arrange oh, writing yeah. that. Well, you know? well, thank you. I heard so, somebody there. Wa- I want that first. I thought, you were, I thought you were coming at my neck for a second. No, 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 no. no. I thought so, too. You I was deserve for, it. The way you set that up. <laughs> you're, you're not you're going for, for the groin. I like to keep you on your toes, guys. <laughs> How oh, about whoever yeah. wrote no homo. the Seth and Drew McIntyre match? Shoot was it? You just made the list. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands on the board. <laughs> Jesus. Was that Tyson Kidd again that he produced this match? If it is, I don't know if he is. If it is, man, he's got the magic recipe because every match that these two put on, and that like these three, right? Because even Dolph Ziggler and well, yeah. Drew's just hitting it out the ballpark every week, man. This guy, yeah. he's, he's he's really his promo, like, his, his time must... away from the E really did hit. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. that confidence that he got right now. Yeah, yeah have you got, do you guys remember that beer of, of a comeback this powerful? Yeah. I can't um, come, pretty yeah. much tell you right now. Come back, oh, you know what? We'll Rock talk Lesnar about that when we have our the Rock comeback Rock. episode. That's right. Shout out, shout out, shout out, coming up in a few out. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Put that to shit a on podcast the list, show near you. <laughs> <laughs> so, in between all that, we got a segment that uh, 
Roman Reigns had to get escorted out of the building. How many oh times has this God. happened? He's always oh getting escorted God. out. You know, nah, I'm upset. He, that ass pitch, he bitch slapped Baron Corbin. Yo, yeah, that was part of was, I'm, I'm upset, though. I'm upset, though. They never escorted out Ronda Rousey. <laughs> yeah, for a while no, out. Come on now. Sexism. She did so much more. <laughs> yo, she was impressive this week, though. Yo, Ronda Rousey, yo? Yo, hey. her, her, her suplex on Alicia and then that, that little Kimura she put this girl on, Lexa Bliss. The, the she hurt my wife. She got to stop Listen, this. This match at SummerSlam might be all right. Yeah, I know. It no might stop. be all right. Um, B team. They had a little segment with the leaders of the world, but <sighs> they get interrupted by the future Raw Tag Team Champions. Yes. Guys, right. please. You sure about please? that? Please, please. Yes, it's due time. Vince, Are you sure about that, Vince? When you press play this week, I know you're gonna hear this. Tell me. The revival. FTR. The tag titles. Exactly. Even though, even though FTR, but. They did the tag titles. So. <laughs> so FTR, but then tag titles. So how does that work? FTR, TT? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> the Revival end up in a match with Matt Hardy and Bray right. Wyatt. Yeah. And Take the Revival down. wins. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. What, what, is, is that it? It's got to be, right? Like, like is, and Usually. Look, if that's the way he goes out, Matt Hardy we're talking about right now, if that's the way he goes out, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, because yeah, like that was not like, the way to go out. No. I think I have trust issues because I think that's a work too. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see how this man walks. Yeah, like, he's hurt. He's, he's, they he's are got, old. Got they kids. are old. I think he knows the moment, and I think he knows the internet, and he wouldn't just walk off like that. He'd have a big bag. And, they gotta uh, give him something. What do you think? Give SummerSlam. SummerSlam. No. Mania. I think he'd wait till Mania. Yeah. He knows how big he is. Like and he knows. And what would be that big bank? I don't Both know. of them. Maybe Both him and Jeff. Him and, and Jeff him together. And Jeff. Going at it. Willow comes out. Him and Jeff beef. And like they have the whole like broken delete like the leaders of whatever. Did, did, how did that that feud go the, over the first time? Amazingly. Yeah. Um, but see, the thing is, like it wasn't as good as Brand Owen. I, mm, look, end of the day, that uh ultimate deletion, final, you know, all whatever I forgot the name of it. That segment. Did well, but Vince didn't even want to do it. Nobody yeah. wants to see a brother versus brother. So, brother, I'm hesitant to even think that Vince would do it again. Uh, we'll see. You know, and it's unfortunate because I think it would do well. Yeah, Pritch has made it a point to say that Vince don't play that shit, that brother versus brother shit. But he's well, done it. Yeah, yeah, he's done it. I oh, can see it being dope. Times. I mean, he's done father for his son. <laughs> like he does what's best for business. Yeah. So, yeah. does this mean that Bray Wyatt joins the B team? No, uh, <laughs> I, th- I think if Matt Hardy hangs it up, I think he's definitely going to manage, you know, somebody from either the back or maybe like. No, nah, I feel him. I, I, I can see him doing like NXT and like helping out backstage at NXT, like or maybe helping with booking. Or speaking, of, speaking of backstage, Seth was over there <laughs> and he got jumped over there by uh, Ziggler and McIntyre after that. Um, yo, what's up with Ziggler's hair, yo? I like it. Uh, it's heel. Like, it's heel as fuck. Soccer mom part two? <laughs> um, nah, his shit was waving. Was I so, think he's going to leave McIntyre for AJ Styles? <laughs> yeah, it, it was so fly that you know, so NXT's fly. the finest copied it. I want that like Hawaiian shirt he was wearing. Though. That, Yo, shit that shit was, was fire. The blazer, yeah. the blazer. That was dope. That was dope. Living Sarah versus Sasha and Bailey. If this match doesn't scream that they're going to put the tag straps on Sasha and Bailey. Oh, look. Yeah. They have matching attire. That's even if they do. Yeah. Have them now because Sasha will. fucked it up. Nah, they will, they will. They will. They will. They will. You know, you know what? This little segment made me realize, though. I kind of miss Ruby Riot. You Do you? I think the fans because, outside because second Liv and Sarah hunk. Logan have been killing it. They have been. Like they have they've been, been doing a really good job without Ruby Riot. You know. So then I'm wrong. You know. I mean, <laughs> I didn't say all that, but yeah, I'm entitled yeah. to my opinion. No, no, first of all, listen. I don't. I never thought from to begin with the three of them go together at all. Really? But that's why I think I'm they go together. It's because they're so different. I'm dying yeah. for them to break up, though. Why? Nah. Maybe Liv and Sarah why? could go off together, and nah. then Ro- Ruby. You're you're exposing nah, nah, you're nah, exposing nah. them, and I, I just you're, see, you're throwing them. Then I see to the Ruby. Sharks. I see it's Ruby not... more like a second page now, a poor man's page. Damn. Nah, exactly. So Damn. let her let her rock with a crew. Damn. And hey, man, yo, what's up with like not having factions no more? Like, ain't nobody in no crew. That's what I'm saying, there's man. no crews. Even like well, the Bullet Club, the Natural Crew, they 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 in a crew. They did fuck it up though when they were doing it with th- these divas, especially the PCP and 
you were getting the six man tag all for the missions yeah. every yeah. week for the next. But that's but that's because it was the entire before. roster was a part of the story. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? Like I'm down. Yeah, for that like was a, bad. A three girl team out of like nine, ten girls. You know, to have I mean, them. you look at the women's roster now; it's actually pretty big. Yeah, it's stacked, so, and that, that's why we're getting that, uh, that evolution. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll touch on that specifically in a little bit. But uh, let's get to the man Elias putting on a show. Yeah, per usual. <laughs> And if I, I haven't seen this in a while where somebody can just play and play around with the crowd the way he did, like he, he kind of like it's like he almost turned face for a little bit, but then he wasn't. He knows he, this man was made for the main. Yo, roster. Yeah, yeah, come on. Man. It didn't really work out as well as uh, H thought down in NXT. But as soon as he came up to the main roster, it took him star. time and it took a minute for him to like really catch on. Yeah, but once he found like once he did, that gear, <laughs> history. I'm, I'm loving all of this. He's and not, did you guys? So, I don't know if you guys saw on the network. They're yes. doing a little documentary. I saw it. Yeah, I, I saw that. Finished yet? But yeah, I saw it. Last and night. they're just trashing him <laughs> the whole time. So let's get uh, to that closing segment. Yeah, guys. let's close it up, guys. It's uh, not the world. So Brock Lesnar comes out right uh, to save Paul Heyman's job, and he does a number on uh, on dudes. Hey, um. That wasn't bad, but it was predictable. I'm overall. Have yeah. we seen that before? He yeah. came out at except five and bounced. Yeah, except uh, the whole uh, Paul Heyman thing. So uh, they added attacked, attacked Heyman. That, yeah. that, that yeah, Heyman attacked element. Him. We've never I, seen that. I, I didn't I, expect that. Yo, Brock Lesnar did his job tonight. He did. He, he, all it's, night it's he was a great, It's a great best. way to close the story between Heyman Look, and Brock. I have, I have no problems with Lesnar in terms of when he's there. Because he's money when he's there. He's hilarious. Even though he doesn't try to be, um, he's made it known that the only reason he doesn't show up a lot is because he doesn't like to travel, and that's fine. Just don't have the freaking belt on the guy. But let's get let's get to the to the to the real show, the A show of the week, the A show of the week. Well, you know, of the main roster, the schmack of the down, so the schmack of the down life. Becky Lynch is someone that deserves yes. Good Nothing match. of what happened tonight. No, I can't Female believe Reigns. that they put yeah. Charlotte Flair <laughs> in this match. Now, Female listen, Reigns tripping herself into the real. match. Like, like, I can't not only that, but she also said it. But she also said I don't care it. who it is. Yo, you but don't yo, trip and fall into that kind of match. That pisses me off. That's the problem with WWE booking. Is these people who come back trip and fall into a match for a contender spot. The audacity is the it fact that make the, sense. in both of these cases, the wrestlers themselves in the post-interview Alluded to the fact, oh, I just went to the ring to kind of, you know, fight exactly or do this, and I found myself in a match to get the title. <laughs> but now, here's my counter argument: that this match just got better. This if match, if the wrestling match got nah, better, man. if Charlotte doesn't call Becky the, it the match, it depends on the finish. To me, it has no, not, to it me, has, it depends on the finish. Because what this match tells me is that Carmella's gonna win, right? Because and they needed Charlotte in there to fuck up Becky Lynch, exactly. so her that. And I'm this, tired of that. This match now allows Carmella to do be the, her sneaky self, you know, like the Miz if, kind of is. Like Edge. Think about the last triple threat match you saw the Miz in. It was fantastic, no doubt, right? No yeah, doubt. that's the same. And that's that's what we're gonna get. If you're thinking like that, if you're thinking like exactly. that, it's kind of like saying that Mella's not even good enough to like beat Becky Lynch by herself. Yeah, yeah but and then do that fine, but then don't make her cut a promo the night the sun last week, and then be like, oh. Uh, I'm, look, I'm representing the women's division look, bad and shit. This I'm, whole promo she did last week, uh, last Tuesday, this Tuesday, it flopped. don't make it flopped. her lose now. Moving but, on, yeah. the bar uh, took on the Usos in the tag team the tournament. Welcome back to the bar. Uh, you, got, you guys missed them, right? Uh, I think we covered that. You know, I don't know if I missed them so much as I forgot fest. they were really there. But you know what? I quickly I've appreciated I miss Cesaro. I've, uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. miss Cesaro, but I've appreciated their Ooh, team. Dope spot. No, 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 of course. I appreciate their team. It's just um, I'm over the team, you know. Off the yeah. top rope, oof. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Oh, New Day was fire. Yes. Yeah, they had their own. No, they had their own table. Shout out to the picture and picture quality of the uh, audio that was no happening. Doubt. Yeah, they were bringing them in for certain spots. Yo, it was fantastic. It was a I, fun was listen, so fun enjoyable. watch, fun watch. If you're watching it live, I shit. think this should be a thing. Yeah, I think yeah. this was should they should have done with the Spanish and I was able the whole time. I think, <laughs> but but yeah. I would like to be able to hear the entire thing separately, nah. like that the new they did, like, I'd like online or some shit. That, that that'll that'll pop up on like YouTube eventually. Yeah, yeah. but because they did it with uh, Morrow doing his like commentary. Yeah, so. that was good too. Yeah. Shout out to that. So video. that that'll come up. Yeah. Well, bar um advance and they're gonna face off with the new day here and 
we're we're gonna have a matchup next week to determine who faces off with the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, and after that, let's Woo! talk about this promo that Samoa Joe gave. Uh, Joe, go. Joe, Joe. He's got the fans all riled up for this match. Yeah, yeah man. That, that, was, that was an evil promo. Evil promo jabs at Styles, man, taking shots at his sacrifices and you know the commitment. Saying he's not a good father because he's oh, never man. home. Tough, does, tough, does, tough, does this tough rank on your like top ten though? Nah. This promo? Ooh. Top ten? Hell no. Oh, There's well, so top, many promos. Top one hundred. In... Top one hundred. Right. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, like, and I, I, his, his, top his, only because I saw it last. His, his promo against Lesnar, <laughs> where he fresh. told him to, "Hey, yeah. look at me when I'm talking to you." Yeah. Your name it. Gold. Him and Reigns. Yeah. Shit on Reigns so much. Dude, Samoa Joe. There's something about this dude that gives you that like intensity factor that he can actually like fuck you up yeah like, you're you're legitimately he's like he's got the, the same intensity that like taz had that uh ken shamrock had where like you just feel like oh yeah. these dudes are about to snap you know what i mean yeah. like he's not well you know what <laughs> not, I mean? well. not well <laughs> we should be concerned you know what i mean and, and it works it works that's what i'm hoping I that matt big, does i mean i'm excited to see this aj aj styles versus uh some old joe match couple Tell commercial you. breaks man then we're back and jeff hardy comes up and the cuts a promo yeah on, I think Orton. We can move on from that. Yeah. yeah was there, was there, there another ear finger ring happening? No, but he did get messed up. Orton beats him up. Uh, Shinsuke came out, actually gave him a shit. Kinshasa. Yeah, that was an interesting little uh, mix yeah, up. Yeah, the hell the he teased, just the, getting beat up. He teased yeah. the crowd, though. He was going to do the, the RKO, but he then. Did it. Look, I, I don't need to talk about it. In real fashion, though. Do you, guys, you know. do you guys see a triple threat? Yeah. 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 It's the only thing that got lined up for those guys. Yeah. This is what happens. We have no. no no writing, no, no product, no direction for any of the talent. And you have to stick them into matches. You know what does have good writing, though? Zelina Vega oh, and she Lana. She has good written all over her. They yeah. sold a match online, online dog? and yes. got it. Paige, being the great SmackDown GM no. that she's yes. been, Shout out to yes. Paige. makes that match for SmackDown Live. And what yes. a match it was. They, they took the you, brass ring. You got no... I mean, maybe it's a work. Maybe like that was all planned anyway. But yay. I like that. Yeah. I like that. There's a lot of characters that don't get the airtime that we look, wish they did. Hey, hey, look. And what I like about it is they're really all in on, you know, Cien Almas and yeah. Selena oh, yeah. Vega. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. to even involve Lana and Rusev, I think that was great. Yeah. Like, because it gives both of them that, you know, spotlight you to you know, do what they need to do. Four instant over superstars yeah. right now. Going in at a it match. in a program. This is gonna be something to watch. I think. This is what they wished uh the Miz, Maurice, yeah, Nikki, Cena, and John Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I think you're right on that. This no is doubt. better. This than is that. a redo. No, way, way better. But um, following segment, get, yeah. Next Daniel one is Bryan Daniel segment. Bryan segment. Ugh, how do you guys feel about this? <sighs> this one was pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it. I. I I, I like. I give credit to the Miz. The jabs man. that the the Miz came back with, like Miz, you know. He, He's showing off here. I think he's, you know, that's taking, fine. But he the, does this a lot. So I'm not really like, that's that's what it is. It's yeah. a cycle. He needs something new. But I'm just ready for the match. Does he need the Mister Rogers? Nah, <laughs> nah, that's, that ship's long gone. Yeah. Um. But, uh, next closing. Now we're gonna close up the show. Actually, actually, wait. Before we do that, um, one of our peoples who's co- coincidentally not here got into it with Zack Ryder. Oh. And. Uh, Woo woo woo! Wow, wow, wow. That, you know it. That was oh. rough. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. Old school <laughs> no. Joe. He was. He, he tried. Was, he's been. He's he's been since suspended for a week. <laughs> and um, realize we, we apologize so so. He's watching so that deep. match like I told him. Zack Ryder questioned what? the tweet. And... So what? Still suck. <laughs> 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 nah, you know because. Zach's gonna listen to this. I know he is. <laughs> he's a nice guy. I mean, no, he's awesome. And just, they're not gonna give him ever a push again. Yeah, unfortunately. his last push was in Dallas, but WrestleMania. See, see, you gotta knock it off because he's. If he listens to this, he's not gonna like this shit. <laughs> listen, I, I, I am, I am one to bat for Fuck old him. school though. I do think the punishment did not fit the crime. Um, I would say that J- Zach Wright is the. What's wrong with the E? But you oh, kinda, no. No. You, I can't say that. I can't because no. you kind of got to be on TV. I would definitely not say that. be what's wrong oh, with TV. I see. 
I don't know about all that. That's <laughs> in promos. Is, you weren't gonna shoot. Right I'm now? just trying to make the list this week. Guys. I oh, will say uh, this. Did I make it? I will say this. Is this guy even on main event? I will. Oh, he actually had a really good match on main Maybe event. Maybe he'll fight Marty Scroll in 205 Listen, Live. I will after say this. I wonder <laughs> if he would blow up internationally. Go to ROH, nah, go nah. to New Japan. Well, we all nah. know he's been rocket strapped tonight. Look, look, you're look, welcome. Look, Zack Ryder, if you're listening, these motherfuckers here, <laughs> they were the ones talking shit. You he know it. Steve <laughs> is the one that rolls with the woo 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 crew. All right, that's how, I'm gonna leave it at that. No doubt, and most definitely moving on. Closing out the show here. The oh, wait, wait, wait. Event. Before you do that, shout out to Zack Ryder. <laughs> Oh, now you want to shout out to him. Mojo Riley. Hey, yo, Mojo is actually coming. I don't want to talk about man. it. Let's move no, on. Let's move on. Let's move he on. stays hype. Have a nice day. All right, Carmelo. Screw Mojo. Carmelo, I'm just saying, yo, Zach Ryder, if you're going to talk, talk shit. Now, nah, listen, Zach Ryder, if you're going to talk shit, right? Mr. Talking. If you're going to talk shit, right? He, he, he just said that, right? He just put a, a yeah. question mark. If you're going to talk shit, nah, fam, listen, that's, that's an attack. That's an attack. <laughs> If you're going to talk uh, shit, oh, don't just stand there with Mojo Rollies in your face yo. talking shit and let Bobby Roode take that match. Yo. yo right? Mr. If you're going to talk shit, yo. Mr. Take... Why you so mad? All he left was a punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> it was a question mark. It was just a question it was mark. And, and it was a legitimate question mark. I mean, it Moving was on. a legitimate question mark. <laughs> but anyways, main event. What was a question mark was this damn injustice, man. Carmella versus Charlotte. Charlotte wins. She's in this match. I'm not talking about this. Let's move on. Did Triple you, did, threat did you guys catch how disrespectful Carmella was to Paige a little bit? Yeah. Oh, I don't man. care. I feel like Paige got a little tight. <laughs> she did. She got, she got a little tight. She, was, she didn't she say like she she'll be what uh, you'll never be anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be I thought that was dope. Yeah. yeah. Say yeah, that, that shit was, more. I felt yeah. like say that. Funny. Yeah. Do yeah. that again. Yeah. yeah. You know what it felt a lot like Miz versus. Hey, I told you, except I said, I said except Paige ain't ago, coming back in like two years though. I said Paige that, ain't coming I back. I said that yeah. weeks ago. That was Carmella is the, is the woman's Paige. Yeah, uh, is the woman's. Uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> is the, <laughs> she is the woman's. <laughs> Wait, what? Miz, she's the woman's. Oh, Miz, Miz, yeah. Look, yeah. love her or hate her, yeah. she gets you to hate her. Yeah, listen, you, know, you need heat. You need heat, Mella. If you're listening. Oh, man. Moving on to some heat, man. NXT was pretty hot this week, man. NXT is always hot. Lee, what's up? On fire. I don't want to go too much into it um i like the card Great no card. no no i do too but i, I want to get to our topic man it's well, a good well, one well, it's a good well, one this week so we got heavy machinery versus the mighty i don't know what the hell's going on with the mighty anymore i mean i, I think they're heels yeah but they bought a couple yeah. spots this match uh, uh, they could get cut look, for all i care uh, i don't Damn, know about that i like moving them. on <laughs> uh mustache mountain makes it a point to you know come back from their embarrassing loss to Undisputed Era. Yeah, yeah. And they went against Jobbers. So how yeah. much of a comeback is that really? Yeah. And then we got EC3 them, versus uh, Hiromu Takahashi. I mean, uh, Kona Reeves. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. The finest. The finest at <sighs> being awful. The finest you know, Jobber you, in NXT. You know who's yeah. the finest? Yo, he he kind of looks like Rick Martel. But like the Rick Martel doll you would find at the Chinese store. Savage. <laughs> That's what you're getting. I, I, I like the Dollar General. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to Chinatown. I, I thought it was hilarious that we thought Kona Reeves was actually going to pull that victory off when Velveteen Dream came out. Yeah. And then EC3 was real. like, nah, screw nope. this. Like, yeah, I'm winning this I'm shit. Still going that this was pretty shit. funny, yo. That was pretty funny. And then last but not least, the main event, Shayna Baszler. Uh, Candice, Candice LeRae. LeRae. Listen, good match. Candice man. LeRae is awesome. Candice like, LeRae is awesome. No wrong right but now. not for nothing, I've been impressed with Shayna Baszler, man. She's, she's really better. turned it up, yeah. Yo, yeah. It's, she really it's the up. promos, the in-ring work, the selling ability, I right? Yeah. Light wow. years above Ronda. Yeah. I don't know about light, light years. years. Yeah. At least on the mic. I don't know mic. about light years at all. I, I, at least on the mic. On the mic, maybe, but, but everything we've seen, else. We've seen more in-ring from Shayna than we have I, I'm not going to lie. I was impressed with Ronda last week. That's fair. I was impressed with Ronda. Ronda's been... Ronda's She's been progressing very well as well. Ronda Ronda's fits the main, the, mic. the main card. She fits right? it perfectly. Yeah, so, yeah. but and then after that, we got a little segment between uh, Champa Gargano, Gargano and and which Mike. teased a triple threat for Takeover. No, but breaking news: mm, this what? just in. This just in. Pretty chubby. You want to give him the rundown? What isn't there an injury report with uh, Alistair Black? No doubt. Oh, yeah, looks like it. No doubt. Looks like he needs surgery. Surgery? No and real details on it. That's pretty much all we got. There um, goes from, push. from that this just feed, man. But 
Looks like so, uh, from our exclusive, exclusive feed. Well, at least we that got no one else has. At least we got a black <laughs> mask at Gargano before he went down. Yeah, yeah. 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 He got him with a pretty good one. Yeah. At least we don't lie. Uh, him so hard that he injured himself. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> wow. So but Gargano looks injured like Alistair Black. We we might be able uh we might be able to actually get this double turn going. Don't yeah, tell yeah. Brett. Ooh. Yeah. So but I I, I tell you what we won't be getting Alistair Black debut in a raw. <laughs> maybe not right now. Yeah, that goes that man. Royal maybe Royal not right now. That is, is shot down, Depends man. on how long he's out. I don't want to think about that, man. Those are bad thoughts. You know what I want to think about is Good thoughts. Like that May Young Classic tournament coming up uh, in two weeks. Yo, I think after, after summer, they're time. signing some yeah, some, but some wrestlers on this car, man. It's gonna be interesting. I, Madison Rain from Impact is actually on it. I was, I thought that was yeah, really interesting. Yeah, yeah they, um, they tweaked her name. I think her name I is think, Ashley. Ashley. Rain. Ashley yeah, Rain. Yeah, Ashley, and yeah. I think she's actually gotten written off since uh, Slammiversary yeah, when she right, lost to right. Sue Young. Yeah. So it looks like she's just coming to the E. Like. Yeah. So we'll see how that works out. They got a lot of names popping up. With they do. They got a lot this year. This year it looks a lot better. It has more known people. Well, well Becky Lynch is, was was caught on social media saying she wants to use some of them names for a tag team division. Mm. I mean, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, eventually. I mean, they can just go ahead and do that, man. Why not just do it? Announce it, man. You already just Sasha already it. fucked it Sasha up. Sasha anyway, fucked so, it up. Yeah. That's why yeah, they know, wanted so, it to be like a super you know? dope announcement. Don't worry, guys. I'll call Vince. They're trying to play Yo, case. Work, yeah. Yeah. Take care of it. But uh, he has a let's get to our, our main event of the show. The following contest, scheduled for one fall. Do I have everybody's attention now? Let's go a little bit off page and shoot from the hip, shall we? Your arms are just too short to box with God. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. This is the main. So it's time. The main event. It's time. Um, what comes to mind? What do you What do you think of first when I tell you what's your favorite segment of all time, or or funny promo, or shoot promo of all time? So are we, are we trying to define it? That's pretty much what we're going to talk about. Anything that you remember that was on the promo, mic or a segment. I don't know promo that. I'm I don't know if like, mine like one of my favorite ones was when I was younger. I was watching Raw and Raw and SmackDown. You know, it's been a while. Right. Um, but the rock comes down to confront the Dudley boys. Okay. And the rock's like, Who are these two Rudy Poos in the ring? And the Dudley boys are like, You should know that we are the du- du- du. and the rock comes back with the same stutter. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter. Oh, man. <laughs> One of no my favorite doubt. promos on no TV that I've ever seen. Yo, gotta be mentioned like 30 times. So the Rock, Stone so Cold, Yo, Jericho. Oh like, that come was on. hilarious, though, man. Rick that Flair. one was fucking hilarious. Like, Rock and I, Sock connection look, that whole time. Not the only time a, a stutter, a funny stutter promo was made, too. No. <laughs> uh, I remember one time when Goldust had the shock therapy or something like that. And he stuttered the <laughs> cock, 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 cocktails. <laughs> Some shit like that. Yeah, him and Triple H had a, a funny one. Look that one up. It was on Raw, by the way. You know who had a good promo, yo? Booker T, yo. <laughs> Booker T, yo. <laughs> and I a, hope. Is that a joke? And from, I hope I that when? Hogan comes back. He from follows when? through on his promise. Hogan, <laughs> um, you just made the list. <laughs> that's what he deserves. That's why we can have nice things. That's exactly Don't forget to bring it to <laughs> Although, uh, if you're going to bring a Booker T, he had a lot of dope segments with Stone Cold. Yeah, yeah that grocery man. store one, that man. That's yeah, segment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is that, that That's probably not that what shit. we're talking no, about. No, no, that's right? exactly. We're I'm talking about anything, promos and, and mic work more segments, or less. Segments, promo. Yeah, mic work. How come? But, I, I mean, that actually, was a definitely you know memorable. I answered my own question when I said that. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> because I was about to ask. Like, why haven't we seen another like supermarket segment? And I'm like, it's probably fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's what I was saying. They destroyed a lot of product. Yeah, <laughs> they true. could have also done the church segment again, which yeah. is awesome yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh wow! How about like, yeah. Boss Man and uh, what was it Undertaker? Oh, um, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was the match. You think it Big Show? Uh, big Show, Big, big Show, show. That, that, uh, the father. Yeah, yeah, he killed his dad. Ninety was that, but how about Stone Cold? Yeah, 
just Speaking just of that, Stone Cold attacking Vince at the hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so the Batman. story is that Vince was like, yo, hit me for real. Yeah. Hit me for real, God he damn caught, it. He caught him so nicely, yeah. though, Clem- with that with shit. With the sound and everything. Yeah. It was great. Perfect spot. I don't know if that was exactly a promo. But... <laughs> Definitely um, a segment. Yeah. I mean, oh, one of the top promos for me had to be Jericho's first night on Raw. Oh, good the whole build up to yeah. like him coming to Raw. Was so I think oh, even man. he knows though. I think he went on for a little too long. Well yeah. Like he, he kind of like rambled after the first like five minutes. Speaking of Jericho, but it, it, it was works. a solid. It was Speaking a solid of Jericho, promo. That man has a thousand moves. Did yo, you know that oh. promo. Yo, was the best. Real. Arm bar. <laughs> yeah. Commercial Arm break. Drag. Commercial break. Left punch. <laughs> <laughs> You know how much Great paper times. and ink he wasted for that <laughs> promo? You know how, many, how much paper and ink he wasted on the list? Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The Can we list. talk about the list on that one then? The list. The list. Because yeah, that, all, that was all, a recent one. Yeah, man. Uh, Any oh, one of those. The list. Oh, my God. How about when he exposed Punk, yo? Yo. That was dope. The alcohol, yeah. the alcohol yeah. one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He hit him when with a Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels that, the, like, the exploded in his hand. He had the, <laughs> they had the video of him going into the... Uh, what do you call liquor it? Store. The, liquor the liquor store, store. or no the, the bar. bar, the, the bar. bar. Oh, yeah. And then they had he had to come out at the end of the night, otherwise he was like suspended or something like that. And he came out looking all drunk, CM Punk did, and he gets to the ring and he's fine. I thought that was the best way to yeah, like do that, the pro. I think they really they sold really, a lot of people really so that well. he was drunk. They sold it well. No doubt. So Speaking of punk, man, he he himself he has a, a bunch uh, of other pipe bombs. Anyone's gonna on. bring up the pipe bomb? Well, the pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Naturally, how about, I mean, how about we were watching up. before him and Stone Cold? The that, WWE 13 oh, that promo. promo. That was a that, funny that was promo for a match that we never 13, got. That was a pretty sick yeah. promo. Yeah. And you talk about that Jericho Punk feud, that story right there. That could they could do something like that, but even. On their own thing on like a greater scale just austin drinking his beer and yeah and, and seeing punk talking down to him yo nope. man i'm better than you because they I don't really think. dropped the ball on that man i mean yeah. look cm punk genius even in his uh straight edge society like i know a lot of people weren't around for that uh at least a lot of people here i don't think you guys really no, i remember i remember i mean but um she that was did. one of my favorite like little crews that CM Punk ran with because it was just him turned up. Yep. Uh, it, it was just great segments. I mean, one of the segments that he had was against The Rock. Yeah. His promo against The Rock where he said, your arms match. are just too short to box with God. Oh, My that favorite, line was bars. Favorite uh, promo, when I saw yo. that, I, I was watching that live yo. on TV. I looked over to my boy. And I was just like, there's no way he's losing it. <laughs> he ended up losing it. But yeah. Yeah. It, it was Bubble, solid. Great, great. Oh, solid. solid. I'm sure it's a box with God, son. Oh, man. Woo! Money promo. I'm, and How about... I don't want to get off CM Punk. I got one more. Yeah. You know, because you guys kept jumping in front of me uh, last yeah, week. So yeah, yeah. guys. <laughs> we owe you many, <laughs> many turns this week, sir. This ain't kosher. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in. Speaking of kosher, uh, Paul Bearer's ashes. Oh, oh damn! That yo, was good. One, that was man. good. That one. was good. That that was money, yeah, man. Hitting him, yeah, hitting yeah. Undertaker with he the urn. Made so many and people then, uncomfortable hey, with that. Yeah, Listen, man. We were there live for that. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. We were just so Mania, drunk. Yo, I, I only remember. I could barely Jesus. remember the Undertaker's entrance. You know, that was a fire entrance. Yo, it was yeah. a fire. It was with like the. That's when he could still walk, right? Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we were so drunk for that WrestleMania that I bought the DVD edition. And I still can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys had a little adventure of your own on the way out of there, right? You couldn't oh, even make it to man. the damn car, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we walked man. into the Be- parking lot. But, but it's oh, some celebrities. Yeah. Who was it? Uh, the Great Khali was the in the Khali, Yeah. <laughs> and uh, was it Ric Flair? Nah. No. Yeah. I don't know. Now I don't remember. Too drunk. We were drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, tough, that's what happened. Oh, the story goes we ended up in the, you know. The talents parking lots and bumped into a couple of the talent. They weren't too fond of us. Speaking, <laughs> of, <laughs> word. speaking of talent, nice things. Speaking of talent, um, this man Steve Austin, you yes. might have heard of him, Stone yes. Cold. He's got like a hundred on this list, uh, especially when you talk about memorable, right? Him coming you out. You knew he had talent, truck. though. You knew he had talent in, in the King of the Ring. Oh, word. yeah, twenty-two years when ago. he first yeah. when he was born. Actually, right? hitting on the alcoholism. 
like we were alluding to before that right, works right. but no but definitely towards jake the snake roberts yeah Stone Cold ET. who's another individual got to be talked about yes. jake the snake roberts on lord promos knows on the his mic. promos are good this I is mean, this is uh one episode where we really miss our buddy old school oh no doubt, oh, absolutely man. shout out to old school absolutely. shout out to old school man well you know what you got blah 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 insert wcw um, <laughs> i mean and yeah, a lot of hey, nwo hey, promos NWO, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, NWO. Uh, uh, they were they just Ramon was coming by they and just like, that whole segment yo. come on and then when the outsiders were there and they were trashing yo when you hogan were, hogan's turn Look, no man. even before hogan yeah. right when uh, that one night when like fucking scott hall and kevin nash were just Fucking shit up in the yep. bag. Yep. Yeah, they threw yeah, yeah, Ray yeah, Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still remember that. <laughs> they thought, like, yeah, they yeah that just, was real, Ray, and they the called truck. the cops. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, the yeah, 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 the local people, the local, they call the local yeah. authorities, and they thought it was real. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Any NWO promo, man, and up until the end, I mean, they just ooze charisma. Yeah, like they they were they were cool before yeah. they brought you know? the whole roster on. Yeah, like I mean, like Bullet Club. But then you have yeah. your favorite moments, like when um, when Mischief said, um, to Austin's beer truck. Yo, the beer truck moment, yeah. man. And then, you know, you come back. Screw the you, beer truck. You know, you get healthier. Kurt Angle's milk, milk truck. truck. Yes. Yeah. So like, come on. Milk truck. Oh. It's healthier. Stone well, Cold and Kurt Angle playing yeah, the guitar baby. with the yeah. little cowboy hat. I was just well, watching that the other day. The Rock's man. guitar <laughs> promos. The Vicky care. Guerrero one was one of my oh, favorites. Man. You know. Yo, Stone Cold's what? <laughs> I what? fucking hate yo, that even, so much. Even, I'm sorry. Even I hate his it. ECW hate work, yo. His ECW oh, yeah. work, man. He was going in. Yeah, but nah. How about AJ Lee's like, it was all pipe bomb. Bomb. Yeah. AJ um, Lee. AJ Lee's pipe. But shout out to AJ Lee she was from my backyard, Union City, New Jersey. Shout out to Union City, New Jersey. <laughs> you heard? You know, we got to show yep. love to the house. Ah. Um, but yeah, man, her pipe bomb on them divas. Back in the day, oh man, money, man. She put them in their place, man. They, yeah. you know, you could tell they were so tight. And then she left. The Bella twins were like, oh, couldn't they hold their, mm-hmm. their emotions and shit. It was beautiful. I mean, but John that's... Cena had a promo. John right? Cena has was been money. John Cena has had many I definitely need AJ Styles, Cena. All you yeah, rock yeah, fans yeah. out there, yeah. all you rock fans, yeah, Cena beat that man. Yeah. <laughs> Cena beat that man. Yeah, in I mean, in, in like 2012, <laughs> twice that tattoo, <laughs> and he injured him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cena, CM Punk. Cena 2012 All will right. be Rock 2012 any day, but Cena going back to Attitude Era. So you Rock fans, your no boy shot. needed to write on his arm. I'm just gonna say that. Gonna that hey, look, he hasn't Cena been in the game for up. years. <laughs> it is what it is. Shout Cena's out to David like, Chabo, who's probably doing backflips at home listening. Shout out you know. to the Million Dollar Man. Ooh, he when he bought money. the pool, literally money promos. Yo. That little boy. When he boy. bought the pool, oh the pool. He w- yeah, when he was like, I don't want these guys in. Get them out like, of my get pool. These ki- yeah. Get these kids out. Yeah. And he pays the owner of the pool to kick everybody out, <laughs> so and he's goes. enjoying the pool by himself <laughs> with Virgil. Fanny with Virgil, yeah. <laughs> But then there's a the little boy that couldn't dribble the damn ball. Yo, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, he he got the 14, and what happened? Like, Yo, he, he, sucks, he, man, he mellowed right. himself out. He sucks. Kicked the sorry. shit out of that boy. You gotta, you gotta... <laughs> Not today. <laughs> no, I bet yeah. you he's a pro, how about, you know, pro basketball player. Right how now? about DX Invasion? Of course. Yo, yeah, DX, well, no, nah, the DX Invasion. invasion Right, the you gotta talk about that shit. Anything DX but did, man, the DX when they had the barbecue in the ring and they were doing oh, sausages yeah. and shit. Their no their doubt. first promo for the Attitude Era, where they're saying all the words that they can't say oh, on TV oh anymore. My like, God. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. You nation. can't say poop. Why can't we say the poop? The nation. Oh they dressed God. up like the nation. Oh. Oh. Man, oh. look. Oh, when they dressed up like Vincent Shane? Oh, that was my more God. I yeah. think that was a little bit more pulpy. Yeah, the other was a little too much blackface. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> love's cock. Look, <laughs> we're going to go over well too well now. Wait, where, do we get, where are we going with this? <laughs> That's what they put on the yeah, screen yeah. when they dressed up as Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, we know where you're going with that. Um, DX, even against the Spirit Squad, had some pretty decent. Like, oh, as PG as it was, it was still yeah. not bad. They dumped you know? shit all over him. Yeah. <laughs> Dolph. Yeah, literal shit. Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler um, and AJ got shit dumped all over him, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kevin Owens. 
<laughs> Kevin Owens yeah. got shit the fuck yeah, too. Kevin Owens. Yeah. Kevin Owens first night on. How about when Stone Cold blew oh, up the Kevin DX truck? Oh, oh, the DX Express. Yeah. Shout out to the SmackDown Fist. Oh yeah. Shout them out. Cause... Shout out to Fisting. Wow. Shout out to wow. Fisting. Wow. <laughs> yo, how about Ric Flair, yo? Ric Flair, yo. We talk about man on the mic. Oh, doing promos. Oh, man. yeah. The charisma, yeah. the energy, the intensity. Boy, to be the, the man, man is not well. The man. Like, he is not well. <laughs> well and he's amazing, amazing. He's amazing. always in character, by the way, man. If you ever always. met Nick Flair, he fucked the bear. He's always in wow. character. <laughs> <laughs> That's a camp WWE? Yeah. <laughs> so what's yo, Dusty for? Rhodes, yo. Yes. Dusty. Shout out to oh, Dusty. Yes. Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. I hate Sting, though. What's Sting? Nah. Nothing. Nah. Nothing. I like. We're talking about Dusty Rhodes's, you know. His iconic promo. Word. Like, can we talk about Dean Ambrose kind of yeah. channeling that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that was great. Yeah. I've wined and dined with kings and queens. <laughs> Dusty, yeah. baby. Oh, Dusty. What else we got? Oh, my God. There's a lot, man. Mm. It, it's tough because when you think about it, it's too much to think about. We threw we threw out the whole attitude. Listen, you have yeah. to you have to think about <laughs> some Undertaker mankind. Hey, how about how about oh, some of oh, about oh, yes? How about you know we have move it up? Nice how, we've had some pretty good promos and memorable moments, even in today's WWE. So let's not, you know, just keep going back to it because everybody knows about those. All right, so what's uh, some recent okay. ones? That yeah, they know about Marty Jannetty. I like that. Yeah. Look, <laughs> let's, okay, let's talk about one that these guys are no longer with the company, but oh. their first night, they they were over. No one, A lot of people didn't even hear about them, but they were over, and that's over Enzo AF. and Cass. Mm-hmm. Oh, word. They come out, and they verbally destroy the Dudleys on the mic. Enzo, I don't care what you want to believe or, you know, whatever. Point, yeah, you're right. Cause... He was money on that mic, and he could have definitely been suited in, like, a manager role. Yeah. Smack talk is kind of Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, money on the mic. Kevin so, Owens is always money on the mic. Oh yeah, this is true. I fucking love it. Anytime he's fucking him, talking, him and Jericho's uh, whole work was interesting. It was work, it it but the friendship, and yeah, the festival yeah, of friendship. Man. Oh man, that That's alone great. too, man. That was just crazy. But Kevin Owens has been having those type of problems <laughs> for the uh, no. entirety of the. I'm sad. Time. What about uh, Mark Henry's retirement? Oh, that was oh, funny, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I seen lied, it. I, was in, yeah. That, I cried yeah, and then I was laughing and that called me. That caught me. I didn't oh, see Daddy's that coming home. If you sit there and tell me you knew the heel turn was coming, you're a fucking liar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no way you no. knew that heel Yo, turn was, was it coming. as bad as seeing Undertaker lose? Like, is it that surprise? Was it that surprising? Like, no, 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 no. Undertaker, no, Undertaker losing? losing is the top of things Yo, we I never expected to happen. For five minutes, at, 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 that it was yeah, at, yeah. You know, spot, remember, right? How about amazing. to open up a WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan? Stone Cold and The Rock. Mm, yes. Right. That was a good moment. When Super the- dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan fucked that up and everybody wouldn't let it go. No. And then when they when he finally corrected himself, the yeah. crowd went nuts. The crowd popped yeah. hard. Yeah. We watched uh, that here, by the way. Yeah. I that didn't. was here at the studios. Invites. HPC Studios that time. Uh, Invites. HPC yeah. Studios. <laughs> I mean, I think we're pretty much done here, man. Um, oh, so you're going to do it like that. You're going to do yeah, it like that. I think right, cool. uh, we're just going to cut you off. You've been talking enough. and um, We've had enough of that. we had Damn. enough of that shit. Damn. Cut his mic. Yeah, um, that's Rather all the time. Applaud. That's all the time we have for you folks this week. This week. <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> um, but before we do, uh, we I do have to do you all do us all a favor and just throw in there Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart's uh, oh, reconciliation. Um, wait, wait, wait. I thought we were done. No, no, we're done with the show. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, slide that into the back. <laughs> slide it into the back, like Damn. she said. You know, Yo, we didn't talk wait. like we, we didn't talk about Stone Cold having uh, Vince McMahon in the middle of the ring with a gun oh, to his head, no, making him piss bang. himself. <laughs> we didn't talk oh, about bang, bang. when uh, JR got fucking pedigreed. Uh, when he got set on fire, when he got set on fire, oh my god, when he got set on fire, when Shane got his nuts electrocuted, <laughs> like, Yo. when Stephanie got crucified, oh, look. Oh, when Stephanie Stephanie oh my god, crucified. when Stephanie got pedigreed, they, the they, did you the hear that out. though? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think we all remember that one. Pause. Oh, oh wow. but did you did you hear yourself, yo? When Stephanie got crucified on live television, that would never ever happen again. 
Man. <laughs> it was amazing, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, yo. It was awesome. so, side you note: know what, you know when Austin, when, when Austin got um oh, uh, crucified, got crucified, yeah, Christian was one of the um the the the, the, the usher guys, <laughs> and he had he had one of the um he had they played a game backstage basically, and um basically goes the game goes where you, he tells me look at look at me for thirty seconds or you can't look at me for thirty seconds. So you gotta look, find somewhere to look for thirty seconds or whatever, or whatever the time being. He literally did that mid promo to him. He just stopped like he couldn't look. He, and he, Austin, like the, being you know the, the the cool guy he that he is, he just says, "Fuck, all right, fine." And he just goes, he goes through with it. It was pretty dope. It was oh. one of those. It was one of those you had to watch. Kind Didn't of. Didn't Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too bad. Just wasted <laughs> my life. Too bad. It, it, you only get the audio. Austin, Austin had a good relationship with Christian, right? Didn't he? Yeah, call yeah, that boy, that boy. Yeah, he, he called he Christian for the whole what? Thing. Yeah, 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 the whole what thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Um. Anyone? Any more? You guys want to throw in there before we? Before we go, There's so many. But... We're gonna, I mean, we missed uh, you a know, lot. You know what, Bret Hart Owen. I mean, when you're talking about like these promos, there's so many. You gotta. Bro, it's like terrible. five or six Owen, bro, every Owen. night, and you're talking about 25 and years of that stuff. You got a yeah, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I think okay, yeah. current day. Let's do current day. Daniel Bryan. I thought we were what's, over. What's, what's, what's popping? What's popping current day? Because we didn't really cover that. Elias. Elias. Besides, every time he goes on the mic. Carmella. New day. Every time. Oh, Carmella. Carmella. I mean, Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Bliss. Alexa Bliss. Miz. Moment of Bliss. Miz. Oh, Miz. Yes, of course. So we got some Seth Rollins. We've got some good Rollins. Oh, um, 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 Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens. Wow, wow. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin F and Owens. Kevin F and Owens. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. No, not no. Samoa. Samoa. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. Dolph that Ziggler. dude is a beast. Dolph Ziggler, low key, yo. Ziggler. It's getting better with the bars. McIntyre stuff. Absolutely. What about McIntyre? Bubba? Bubba and ECW. Ooh, Ooh, how about Bubba now? I love Bubba as Bully Ray. Yo. Yeah. Bubba, yo, Bubba in Ring of Honor. Did, yo, yeah. that Bubba Ring of Dream. Honor promo he cut, yo. Bubba is just He busted out the ring. Deal. He's like, I'm a Hall of Famer right now. Oh, man, that was gold. The yeah, Velvet, yeah, yeah. That was gold, yo. The Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream, yeah, he's dope. Uh, he, he's getting better. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. He's like 25, hey, man. Hey. Yeah, bro. He's yeah. like 25, and this the guy, this kid bright. is like, he hasn't even reached his, like, you know, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Um, yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for you folks this week. Uh, we want to thank you for listening. Nah, and you're um, welcome. Well, you are right. You are welcome for listening in. And um, from wherever you get that podcast fix, you get every week at HPC Two Sweet Social Media Tag. Social. And all if right. you got anything to say, come at us on Twitter. Um, and yo, know, feel free to rate our show, guys. Uh, show some love, man. Give us a rating on social media, man. On a review of our of what you hear, man, because we we would love to know. We would love to see where we let stand us know here. what we have to change too. Yeah, man. Um, Nothing. Uh, we're gonna leave you with the sounds of uh, our favorite promo. You're here, here. I'm Vic the villain for the rest of the team here. Mischief, Lee, Steve, JP, Savage, and Pretty Chubby Flacco. And my ping. <gasps> <laughs> See you guys next week. You're it. Ten counts of ten total. Hasta luego. Welcome back live to the first hour of this edition of WCW Monday Nitro on TNT. Tony Schiavone and Larry Zabisco. And we are taking a look at the mauler completely maul his opponent, Steve Daw. Well, you know, Steve, but, Steve Daw was trying to get an offensive going. Wait a minute. But... But, what the hell but is going what? on here? But the mall, well, he just got reversed right there. Oh, the about. mauler runs him down. What are you talking about? Look, look here. Well, What's what going? the hell? Wait a minute. Give me a mic. Give me a mic. What was that? Wait, we need security. I, oh, we, I have no idea. Hey. Wait a minute. I can't believe it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You people, with him? you know who I am. But you don't know why I'm here. Are we going to get security here? Where is Billionaire Ted? Where is the Nacho Man? That punk can't even get in the building. Me? I go wherever I want, whenever I want. Listen, we need to get somebody to call. And where 
Oh, where is Scheme Gene? Because I got a scoop for you. When that Ken doll lookalike, when that weatherman wannabe comes out here later tonight, I got a challenge for him, for billionaire Ted, for the nacho man, and for anybody else in uh, WCW. <laughs> hey, you want to go to war? You want a war? You're going to get one. Fanta, what about the match? I don't know what to say. Randy Anderson's coming. Randy? Randy, what's going on here? What about the match, Randy? What, what, what's going The match is, match, fans, we got to go to a break. I, the match left! I have no idea what to say. Stay with us. Sweet.